guys. I already made a video on this one, on this topic of DPF and DEF. Uh, based off of the comments I've seen on the on the EGR, figured I need to make another video. It's easier for me to just make another video than to edit the other one. So while I'm driving there, figured I'll talk to you guys about it. Guys, I keep those video, videos very simple, and the purpose of those videos to underline the real problem, not the not what some people may believe to to think what it is. Um, if you guys want to get into specifics, I'm not going to get into specifics. If you guys got your facts right, feel free to throw it in the comment section, but don't bombard me for keeping it as simple as possible. Yes, I'm not it. Okay, anyways, I'll just skip <laughs> the rest of that. But yeah, I just keep it simple. So if simplicity don't work for you, just shut down this video. To make a long story short, uh, DPF and DEF. What's the biggest issue with them? There's two canisters, you know. Um, the way I like to look at it is the first filter does the big cleaning, and the the, the little the second filter does the fine cleaning. That is not factually, and you guys can, you know, what I mean, you guys are gonna drop out of your seats now. No, no, that's not what it does. I know what it does. I think I know what it does. It converts certain molecules to other molecules. And then the second one converts those molecules into vapor. That's what it really does. And But that's not the problem. That's not what I want to focus on. What I want to focus on, as far as all that conversion goes, it only lasts for a maximum of 300,000. 300,000. And then you got to change those out. Because you're going to be clogged and you're going to be pushing that truck. Well, no, I... I I'm saying 300 because that's when I say you need to pull them off. I know a guy that has 400 plus. Oh, you guys seen that truck? Had 400 plus on his. And there's a recall on one of them or something like that. But anyways, for, by 400,000, this your truck's going to be gutless. Because all that crap is all plugged up and it, it, it's worn out, you know, plugged up. So back to my thing at 300. Plan on 300,000 to swap those two canisters out. You know, and, and before I get too far, the real problem, the big thing I need to underline here, guys, is heat. Man, them Cummins engines would have lasted forever, you know, if they didn't get lightly sand dusted or carbon dusted by the EGR and then get the exhaust all clogged up so it's building crazy EGTs. So, the, from my experience, I personally had to deal with one engine that dropped a valve and rest of the rest of the engines that I've talked to you guys about, it's heat. Uh, most, the highest percentage reason those Cummins go kaboom is they drop valve seats. And it just grenades everything. Second one is the crank gets overheated and it snaps. Yes, the crank snaps on those, but that's not as common as dropping the valve seat. And I gotta say all thank you and a big huge thank you to the exhaust system, the DPF and the DF. That's the big problem. You know, that's the real problem with that. Heck with those molecules. Heck with those expenses of DEF and all them sensors throwing check engine lights. I'm not even talking about it. That's that's little little stuff. I'm talking the big heavy hitters is the heat that those things cause because they need heat. They need heat to operate. And as professional and how great those systems are, they're just better without it. You know, just let them breathe, boys. But anyways, <coughs> you need that air flow through there. But that's it. That's that's the big problem with DPF and the DEF system. It just creates too much heat, and then uh, the engine takes a flop, and everyone's blaming Cummins, but it's really not Cummins. It's the, it's the EGR system, or the, the after treatment, excuse me. It's a, it's a combination of both, really. But here's the thing. You know, what can you expect out of this? What is a safe margin? And guys, listen up. A safe margin would be to run those trucks of maximum 26,000 pounds. I don't care if it's a dually or it's a single rear wheel. That engine just sees a lot of heat even at 26,000 gross. If you're going to start pulling like them high high, um, high weights with the dualies, that's why, I mean, I've seen dualies with blown engines by 100,000. That's why my buddy just called me freaking out. He's like, dude. I screwed up my engine. He's in Texas, broken down. Dealership told him 25 grand. His engine's done. Well, told him to, to as un 
mechanically inclined he is at least at least try to snoop around that engine maybe the, the dealership's pulling a quick one on him but um anyways you know an engine's 25 grand at the dealership he's in a corner what does he do he says well i'll be back for the truck buy, i'm gonna buy me a new truck bought a brand new truck and off he goes you know 25 grand is a lot of money guys for those engines and you'd be the judge if it's worth it or not but to keep those engines alive in 100 percent stock form if you tow under 26,000 pounds you'll be fine you'll you'll survive and <clears throat> you guys will will be fine you know uh something else i'm gonna do a separate video on it because it, it needs to be done is df don't go buying df left and right from every station that offers df but we'll get into that later you know if if you run certain products your exhaust system is going to run better and longer if you run certain oils and we'll, we'll get into it. i think that's the next video and i'm gonna wrap up this whole after treatment little series i got going well as much as you can call it a series um but yeah there's a way you could you could keep them running because there's guys that don't even get three hundred thousand out of their canisters there's guys that don't even get three hundred thousand out of their engine so to, to give it a quick rundown a do not tow over 26,000 pounds. I don't care if you got 488 gears. You're building heat. You're killing it. Uh, then what's the point of those of those trucks? The only way I'll do them, bro, is you let them breathe. You let them you let them engines breathe. Give them a nice intake system and wazoo and the rest. Um, if they could breathe easy, yeah, you could work them all day. Keep the tune stock, and you could work them bad boys all day, and you won't have any issues. Now, as far as keeping the stock, that's the run that I started, and off I go. 26,000 max. I, I know you guys are going to bombard me for that, but 100% stock creates a lot of heat, and you're not going to... Um, you're not going to... That engine isn't going to last. But, of course, I'm talking about long haul. I'm talking about over-the-road stuff. Now, if you're local, guys, there ain't no issue with that. Local, you're not... I mean, if you pull a grade for, what, 10, 30 seconds, and you're done. You know, you don't have those intense hill pulls like this one you know i'm pulling a hill right now i'll lock it on fifth truck has a little bit of weight behind it uh but yeah now so we got the weight thing out of the way second thing would be products that you use uh, oils added uh oils like as an oil oil engine oil as a whole uh fuel products fuel additives i mean and the kind of def you use uh, it's going to prolong the life of the DPF and the DEF canister. Um, idling, guys. I know some of you guys love idling, and I'm the biggest sucker for that. I like my trucks nice and toasty before I take off anywhere. I idle my trucks a lot, and that kills the DEF, DPF, or DPF, DEF canisters. That really plugs them up. And yeah, they take care of themselves once you get down the road. It starts regening and all that shenanigans. But, you know, try to avoid long, long idle, and you guys will be fine, you know. Repeating myself, just want to give you boys a rundown. It's three hundred thousand. You do everything you can. Three hundred thousand. Those canister, canisters are fairly plugged, and your truck is fairly gunless. Anyways, that's it. May the Lord bless you. May y'all have a mighty fine day, and keep the shiny side up. <laughs> God bless you, bye.